and welcome to another lookbook video. Um, I just got home from work. I had to work today. Um, I actually was supposed to be off <laughs> for almost another week, but one of my coworkers asked me to work, so I decided to pick up the shift. But I'm still really, really tired from Comic Con. But um, so yeah, let me tell you guys about my makeup look for today. So I primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer, and then I used my Amico Le Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the Dior powder. And then for my um, eyeshadow today, I went in with the Odin's Eye Trick or Treat palette again because I really, really, really wanted to try out the greens in this palette. Um, and they are beautiful. They literally, this is how it's looked all day. Like the saturation just stays beautifully. So I went in with the shade, uh, I can't even, oh my god, I can't even read this. Poison in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Cauldron, and then I used the darkest shade again on the outer corners called Goblin. And then for the lid, I was dying to try out the shade Witch's Brew, so I finally was able to use that shade, and it is a stunning green. It's so pretty. And then, of course, I went in with Wicked again on the brow bone. And then for the inner corners, I kind of wanted something a bit darker, and also I really wanted to try out the shade Crypt Keeper. So I put that on the inner corners and it just like literally transformed the look to be a little bit darker and I kind of love how this looks. It just looks so pretty. And then I topped it with a little bit of Mummy's Curse just to lighten it up a little bit and it just turned out so pretty. I'm absolutely obsessed with this look. I think it's gorgeous. I didn't think that the Witch's Brew shade would go as well with my shirt as it does. And it just looks so pretty. I love it. So yeah, that's everything I used from this palette today. And I'm probably going to use the palette tomorrow as well. And I really want to test out like the, the red shades in this little quadrant. So I'm very excited to try those shades. Um, and then uh, I just used my Makeup by Mario black liner on my waterline. And then for my... Um, mascara I just went in with the essence lash primer of course and then I went in with my Cali Ray come hell or high water mascara I basically like rushed <laughs> everything else just as long as I used the palette and I knew what base products I was using but I wasn't sure like what blush and highlight and lipstick I wanted but then I just like grabbed stuff um and then for my primer I went in with the uh do it spray and then I went in with my elf power grip primer and then for my foundation I went into the house labs triclone skin tech foundation in the shade 050 fair cool I hadn't used it in a little while and it's just such a stunning like lightweight foundation I love it so much but I also really wanted to use my house labs concealer again so this is the 051 fair neutral um and I love this concealer it's beautiful and then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs powder. And then I set my face with the uh, Dior powder again. And then for my bronzer, I wanted to go into my Pat McGrath bronzer today. So I just used that guy in the shade Naked Desire. I love it. It's so pretty. And then for my blush, I just went into one of my go-tos, which is the House Labs blush in the shade Pomelo Peach. It's just such a pretty color. I always love doing peach or orange with green I always think it just looks so pretty so I always use like a peachy or orangey blush when I do green eyeshadow and then for my highlight I went into the give me glow highlighter in the shade white noise it's just such a pretty light highlighter and I didn't really know what other highlighter to go into today I didn't really lay them out I was just so tired after comic-con last night I just pulled out the palette and my foundation and then just went to sleep because I was so tired. And then I set my face with the Milk Makeup Spray and then I set my brows with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I just went in right with my lipstick because this is um, like a matte lipstick. So you don't really have to line first. And honestly, I was just too lazy to do lip liner today. So I went into the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lipstick in the shade Sierra. I don't think I've actually worn this since my sister's wedding. Like, this is the lipstick that I wore on my sister's wedding. And I don't think I've worn it since then. That was, like, three months ago. So, I was like, maybe I should use it again at some point. Because this was, like, one of my go-to nudes for a while. So, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I'm just having... 
a chill uh, game night with my friends. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Hey, so hey there, guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. So I'm actually going to a game night with my friends. We actually haven't had a game night in quite a while. We haven't had one this month yet. So I'm actually very excited because I'm just so wiped from Comic-Con. And I worked yesterday. So tonight I'm just excited to chill with my friends and drink and play some games so it's going to be really really fun so I prime my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I use the Amico Lay lip oil and then I set my eyes with the Urban Decay stay naked powder and then for my eyes today I went in with the Odin's eye trick-or-treat palette again because I'm going to be using this palette most of this week as well because um, I'm still testing out the shimmers. So I wanted to go with the reds today. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that this turned out. I also filmed a look on this uh, on this look. Because I wanted to talk all about New York Comic Con. So that one will be up soon. Um, but I just wanted to do another look with this palette. So that's why I wanted to film that video. And also I really wanted to talk about Comic Con. So I went in with the shade Cemetery first. Then I darkened up the crease more with Vampire Fangs. And then on the outer corners, I went in with Goblin. And then for the lid, I finally went into the shade Trick or Treat, which is the signature shade in the palette. And oh my god, it's just such a stunning, like, burgundy, reddish gold. It's so pretty. I love it. And then for the brow bone, I just went in with Wicked again. And then for the lower lash line, I went back into Cemetery and just smudged that on the lower lash line. And then for the inner corners, I just went into Mummy's Curse again because Mummy's Curse is like the perfect inner corner highlight for me. It's such a stunning like goldish, pinkish, silvery green. It's just so stunning. I love it so much. And I'm absolutely obsessed with, with this look. I love it so much. The thing about this palette is that they are pigmented, but they are so easy, easy to blend like, these reds were kind of, like, the easiest reds I've ever blended before. And reds are, like, kind of difficult to make blendable. And these are so smooth and easy to blend. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I think they're so good. So, that's everything that I used from the palette. And then I used my Makeup by Mario Black Liner on my waterline. And then for my mascara, I just went into my Amico Lay Mascara because I hadn't used it in a little while. So, I just used that today. And then I just went in with my Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then I primed my face with my Do It Spray. And then I decided to use my e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer today because I actually haven't used this in a little while. And it's still a good tacky primer. So, I just used that. And then for my foundation, I wanted to go into my Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation. I still love this foundation because it goes on so lightweight, but then when you're done with your makeup, it's pretty good coverage. So, and it's just so light and easy to wear, and I just absolutely love it. So, I'm so glad I went into that again today. And then for my concealer, I went into the Makeup by Mario Concealer again in the shade... 120 because I did want a little bit of coverage underneath my eyes and um, I would have went in with the coinciding concealer with this but that one's a little bit more lightweight I still wanted something with a little bit of coverage and then I set my face with the Urban Decay pressed powder and I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath powder as always and then for my bronzer I went into the NYX matte bronzer in the shade medium because I haven't used this in a little bit and I've been trying to go back into bronzers that I haven't used in a little while and then for my blush I just went into my Odin's Eye blush in the shade warm sun because I've been wanting to use my Odin's Eye products when I've been using this palette so um, I just went into that guy and then for my highlight I'm not sure if I'm absolutely like obsessed with this Hold on and then second. for my highlight, um, I went into a newer highlighter, but I finally wanted to use this because it's really just been sitting in my bag. So I was like, let me try it out. I don't know if I really love this. I'm probably going to return it. So this is the ColourPop Press Powder Highlighter from the Sailor Moon Collection. And this is the shade Moonlight. So the packaging is like really, really cute with the cats and everything. And then this is what the highlight looks like and it's like this pretty like pinkish lavender shade 
Um, but it didn't really go on that pigmented. And I actually watched Makeup by Trains video on the whole collection because she always does a, a collection review on every single ColourPop collection. And when she used this in her video, she said it looked really, really chalky. So, but I still wanted to try it and pick it up, but I don't know if I really love it, but I think it looks pretty. So I'm going to have to keep on testing it out. Maybe I'll use it one more time to see how I feel, but it's just okay. It's not anything special. And then I just top, oh my God, I can't speak. I tap, topped it off, not tapped it off. Oh my God with the Blend Bunny Noctilucin palette, and I just used a little bit of the shade Far Out. You can't even see it because it's such a blinding packaging. And that helped it be a little bit more pigmented, but probably for this kind of look, I would have went for something a little bit more golden, but I don't know. I wanted to try something a little bit different, and it still looks pretty. It's not like pink doesn't go with red. Um, and I, I still like it, so I'm just going to leave it. I think it, I like how it looks. And then I just set my face with the Milk Makeup Spray, and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went into my Blend Bunny Lip Liner in the shade Doll Face. And then I finally used one of the Odin's Eye lipsticks that I got from the Angelica Nyquist collection to go with the palette because she did come out with five lippies. I should have used the other lippy yesterday because I still hadn't used either of them yet. But I like totally spaced on using it yesterday for work. But at least I remembered to use it today. So this is the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyquist matte lipstick in the shade Shadow Creature. This is such a pretty like wearable red. Exactly what she said. It really is a beautiful wearable like brick red. And I absolutely love it. I've been wanting a color like this for so long again. And I feel like I'm going to wear this every single time I want like a darker red lipstick. Because I haven't had one in so long. But this one is so ridiculously comfortable. I really, really like the formula. And yeah, I think it looks great. So yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, so hey there, guys. I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I'm still pretty, pretty tired. Um, my body is like still recovering from Comic-Con. Um, but I did go to a game night last night with my friends. And it was really fun. But I think I just need a couple days to re-up and recoup because <laughs> I've definitely been doing a lot lately so I think I just need to chill out for a little while so I'm just gonna go to my boyfriend's house today so I primed my eyes with the uh color pop party proof primer and then I used the Amicole lip oil of course and then I set my eyes with the uh ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyes today, I wanted to go back into the ColourPop 1111 palette because there was one more shade in here that I needed to use and also I just wanted to use it today. And honestly, I really think that this palette is so much better than the Natasha Denona one. I just feel like there's more variety in this palette. There are some colors that are very similar to the Natasha Denona palette, but I just think this palette is better. I just have had a better time with it and I feel like I want to use it over and over again. Um, and I feel like even though these looks aren't like that exciting, I still think that there's enough variation in this palette for me to do like different neutral looks where I won't get bored. So <laughs> that's basically why. So I went in with Lucky Babe in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with this shade Perfect Harmony. This is such a pretty matte. It's like a purpley cool tone gray. It's so pretty. So I really like it. It's a very unique shade. And then for the outer corners, I went in with Divine. So now I've used all the mattes and all the shimmers in the palette. And I really like this shade too. It's actually not as dark as I thought. It's kind of like a, like a purpley brown and it's so pretty um but it has some black in it too but I thought it was going to be like very black but it's not and I really really like that and then for my lid I went into the last shimmer I wanted to use which is called major change and that's a really pretty shimmer as well I really like how this look turned out and then I just went in with total angel on the inner corners and that's everything I used from the palette Simple, easy, neutral looks, and I really, really have been enjoying this palette. 
So now I've used every shade in it. And now for my, and then for the brow bone, I just went in with my Precious from the So uh, Jaded palette. And then I um, went in with my LA Girl liner in the shade brown on the waterline and then for my mascara um i just went in with my essence lash primer of course and then i went in with my color pop act natural mascara i just used that on the top and then i just went in with my lash discovery on the bottom lashes and then i primed my face with the um do it spray and then um i just used my say star glow super gel primer and then for my tinted moisturizer I went in with my Cali Ray one again the free dreaming skin wellness diffusing tint in the shade the one I just really wanted to use it again today and then for my concealer like I said I wanted to go into the makeup forever one because I didn't use it yesterday with the foundation but also I really like this one for daily uh neutral you know natural looks I mean and this one's the HD skin concealer in the shade 1.1n and then I set my under eyes with the Becca Hydra Mist powder and then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh powder and then for my bronzer I went into my ColourPop bronze sticks. I actually hadn't used this in a little bit so this is the shade Laguna Beach so I wanted to use that today and then for my blush I went I just went into the Bare Necessities palette by Blend Bunny and I just took the neutral shade just a touch because I just really wanted to use that today um, and I love it. It's one of my favorite everyday blushes. I've used that one at least like three or four times at this point. And then for my highlight, I went into an older ColourPop highlighter. I went into the shade uh, On the Cusp. Um, and that one is from the older Zodiac collection from Kathleen Lights. I still have it. I still love this highlighter. It's so pretty. It's like a bronzy, goldish color. And then I set my face with the uh, Do It Spray again, and then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Blush Gel. And then for my lips, I just went into my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the neutral shade. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Easy, neutral look. I was just feeling a little bit lazy today. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another look. Bye. Hey, so hey there, guys. I'm going to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. Um, I'm just like having a day to myself today. I actually went to... The other mall here so I could go return the Sally dress that I bought because originally I thought I was going to be doing uh, this Nightmare Before Christmas pop-up shop thing with um, a couple of my friends on Halloween but it is sold out still for two table uh, people that want to go like two person tables um, and honestly, I would want to sit, like, with my other two friends that are going. But my friend that mentioned it to me, she said it, like, months after she bought her tickets already. It's like, why didn't you tell me when you were getting yours? And I would have gotten mine at the same time so we could all sit together. So it just turned out that I didn't need it. So I just went and returned that. Um, and I exchanged it for a t-shirt at Hot Topic and then a Nightmare Before Christmas sweatshirt. Because I realized that I don't have anything Nightmare Before Christmas besides the um, Nightmare Before Christmas palette. There was one that I really wanted online, but for some reason he wasn't able to order it from the store for me. Like, even though it said it wasn't available for in-store pickup. They said I, they could still send it to my house, and I guess he had all my info because all he needed was my phone number, and then it automatically went in. Like, the whole address was right because they have all of that on file, so. So, it ended up costing me $50 for both, but I had the store credit for 40 bucks, So, it only ended up costing me another $10, so that was great. So, I just exchanged it for two things that I would actually wear. So I primed my eyes with the, and then I just went and got gas and that was it. And then I came home and, um, cause like that mall's not that close to me, but it's definitely the closest mall besides the one that's near me. But my mall doesn't have a Hot Topic. So that's like the closest Hot Topic to me. It's like not even, it's like 10 minutes away, 15 minutes tops with traffic. It's not that far. So I prime my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I use the Amicalay Lip Oil, of course, and then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. I actually didn't realize how much of the Amicalay Lip Oil that I've already used, but it might still be full. I just thought it was empty on this side, but I think I still have quite a bit left. 
but I think I've used like half of it already so and then for my eyeshadow I decided to go into the ColourPop 1111 palette again today because I just wanted to use it a little bit more and also this week I just want to concentrate on using my newer palettes and getting some more use out of them and I just really wanted to use this anyway because I was just doing a neutral look and I just wanted to play with it again. So I used Good Thoughts in the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Protection, and then I used um, Right Path and Empowered on the outer corners, just like mixed together. And then for my lid, I wanted to use the gold again, so I went into the shade Manifest. I think this is the same sh uh, look that I did. Oh my god, I forgot to do my inner corners today. Oh well, I guess we're not doing it, because I'm not putting it on now, because I'm just going to be home for the rest of the day, but I cannot believe I forgot. That really annoys me when I do that, but it's fine. The eyeshadow's still on. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But that's funny that I forgot. <laughs> and then I just used Blend Bunny's Brighter Days on the brow bone, and that's all I used from the palette. I just used, like, four shades, I guess. No, I used five because I compared. Com com combined. <laughs> I was going to say compared and combined together, so I said compared because um, I combined the two outer corner shades. So yeah, that's all I used for eyeshadow. And then I just used the LA Girl liner on my waterline. And then for my mascara, I just used the Ilia um, Limitless Lash Mascara. And then I just used the Lash Discovery by Maybelline on the bottom lashes. I am pretty tired now. I was going to clean a little bit. I think I am still. I'm just going to like clean up my desk a little. But other than that, I'm probably just going to lay down and relax after that because it's already 4 30 I don't know how the time gets away from me all the time um and then I primed my face with the do it spray and then the say star glow super gel primer and then for my tinted moisturizer I just went into my ColourPop pretty fresh hydrolonic acid tinted moisturizer in the shade fair 1n and then for my Concealer, I just went into the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in this shade 9.5, and then I just set my under eyes with the Becca Hydra Mist Powder, and then I set my face with the Pretty Fresh Powder again. And then for my bronzer, I just went into my Ilia bronzer in the shade Drawn In, so I just used that guy. And then for my blush and highlight, I went into my very first blush and highlight uh, powder product powder blush and highlight products from ColourPop and this is the double play duo um and these are in the shades I just used both shades so the blush is called getting handsy and then the highlighted the highlight color is called padded down I've said like so many times I wish that ColourPop would bring back these duos because I think they're so beautiful so yeah I just used the blush and the highlight and I love this product I've used it so much um, but I hadn't used it in a little while, so I wanted to use it today. And then I just set my face with the Do It Spray again. And then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I just went into my favorite lipsticks this year, pretty much. And that's the Lawless, um, what the heck is it called again? They, these are like the plumping lipsticks, but honestly, like... If you're somebody like me who doesn't really like plumping li lipsticks, these are so nice and just cooling on the lips. You barely feel the plump. And this one's in the shade Fawn, and I absolutely love these Lawless lipsticks. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there, guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. Um, I'm just going to my boyfriend's house again. Um, so I primed my eyes with the uh, ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I used the Amico Le Lip Oil. And then I set my eyes with the um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyeshadow, I went into both of the Halloween or Hella palettes by Angelica Nyquist. I just took one shade from the Hella palette because I wanted uh, just another neutral shade to go with the eyeshadow today. So I just went in with the shade Wolf in the crease and that's all I used from this palette just because, you know, I didn't want to use the same two shades in the halloween palette and make it as repetitive but i did end up going in with the same two that i used for a neutral look the last time i used this palette which was on a live with Allie. um but i mostly just used this top row again of the palette so i just darkened up the crease more with the shade howl 
and then I used the shade Goblin on the outer corners and then for my lid I went into the shade Mummy's Curse because I really wanted to use that shade today and that's such a pretty like light white yellowy gold and it's so beautiful I love it and then for my inner corners, I just went in with Full Moon. And then for my brow bone, I just used the shade Wicked. And that's everything I used from the palette today. So now I've used, I think, five of the shades. I'm doing pretty good on using this palette. So I've used this shade, this shade, this shade, and these two shades. I just need to use this shade and this shade. And yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and then I used my LA Girl Brown Liner on my waterline. And then for my mascara, I just used my um, ColourPop Act Natural Mascara. And then I just used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then for my face, I primed with the Do It Spray. And then, of course, my Say Star Glow Super Gel Primer so I can use that up. I'm almost done with it. So I'm just going to start using the Rare Beauty one after I use up that one. And then for my tinted moisturizer, I wanted to go into one I hadn't used in a while. So I used the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I still love this one. It looks so good on the skin. It's just such a good tinted moisturizer. So this one's in the shade, uh, I believe it's the lightest shade that they have. It's a little bit tan for me, but honestly, when it absorbs into the skin, it just pretty much becomes my skin tone, which is very bizarre because this is very dark. But I don't know, it just always looks so good. And then for my concealer, I went into the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. I think I'm almost done with this concealer too. So I'm going to try and use this one up by the end of the year. I think I'm almost done with it. So that's pretty good. I've had this concealer for quite a while, so I would like to use that up. And then I set my under eyes with the Becca Hydra Mist Powder. And then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder again. What else is new? And then for my bronzer, I just went in with my go-to, which is the ColourPop Aliva Beach Bronzer. And then for my blush and highlight, I wanted to go into my Sigma Disney Princess Cinderella Highlighter Duo. So I just went in with the blush and the highlighter. So the blush is Ever After. And the highlight is a glow. And the highlighter is so stunning. I love Sigma's products. They're so good. And then I set my face with the um, with the Do It Spray again. I don't know why I was blanking on that. And then I set my brows with my e.l.f. Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went in with one of my all-time favorite nude shades. And I hadn't used it in a little while. So I went into my Patrick Ta... Um, lipstick in the shade oh she's single so yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna be doing neutral looks until probably friday and saturday then i'll do a little bit more colorful looks i do want to finish using this palette by the end of the week i might use this again tomorrow i might do the green look with this palette tomorrow i'm not sure yet depends on how i feel but yeah that's it so i'll see you guys tomorrow bye hey so hey there guys i want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today i'm just going to my boyfriend's house again I'm just going to pick up food for us, and that's what I usually do before I get there because we obviously need to eat food, <laughs> eat dinner, lunch, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So I prime my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I use the Amicole Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. It's always the same. And then for my eyeshadow palette, I wanted to go back into the ColourPop Rock On palette today because I wanted to get a little bit more use out of it. And I really, really like it, and I wanted to use it before I go into all my Halloween palettes for pretty much uh, after tomorrow on. I'm just going to be using Halloween palettes. So I went into the shade Rock My World in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Red Rocks, and then I used um, Trail Mix on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I went into the shade Summer Heat, and it's just such a pretty red um, and then for the inner corners, I went into Chasing Sunsets from this palette. So I just used those five shades, and it turned out super pretty. I love that red shimmer. It's just such a pretty shade. Um, so that's all I used from that. And then I just went into Brighter Days from Blend Bunny from the Forget Me Not palette on the brow bone. And then for my waterline, I went into the LA Girl Brown Liner in the shade Brown, because that's what I always use. <laughs> And then I just went into my Essence Lash Primer. And then for my mascara, I just went into my ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. And then I primed my face 
um, with my Do It Spray, and then I used my Say Star Glow Super Gel Primer, and then for my face, I went into the Fenty Beauty Easy Skin Tint, because I haven't used this in a little while, so I wanted to use it today. This is the Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 1. This is pretty much the only complexion product I've ever really liked from Fenty. I don't, I really did not like the stick, uh, skin tint. I really prefer the liquid one. This one just looks so much better on my skin. The, uh, the stick was just looking so dry on my skin. I don't know what it was, but I just didn't like it. I love the liquid version. And then I used the... Um, First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer in the shade 0 0.5. This is also a really nice concealer and I like using it from time to time. And then for my powder, I went back into my Maybelline Fit Me powder because I kind of want to just use a little bit, uh, something a little bit different. And this is the Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair. And then I set my face with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder again. And then for my bronzer, I went into my Fenty Beauty bronzer. If I can open it. Um, this is the uh, Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade In The Sun. And then for my blush, I went into the Half Magic Beauty uh, cream blush. Because I wanted to use this today. And also, I wanted to use it again because... Um, I actually forgot that I should include this in my cream blush ranking whenever I have the time to film that. Um, but I wanted to go back into it again and it is a really nice blush. So this one is the Cheek Fluff Blush in the shade Don't Be a Doll. It's just such a pretty like peachy uh, color. I really, really like it. And then for my highlight, I went into... Um, my Catrice highlighter because I really love these highlighters and I wanted to use it today. Um, so this is, why isn't this closing? So this is the Catrice Cosmetics More Than Glow highlighter in the shade Beyond Golden Glow. So that's what I used as my highlight and it's just such a pretty like warm tone gold highlighter. And then I just set my face with my Do It Spray again and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lipstick, I went into the Glam Light and Frosted Flakes lipstick. It doesn't even have a shade name, but this was the only lipstick in that collection, and it's just such a pretty peachy lip. I really do love Glam Light's lipstick formula. It's very, very nice, very smooth on the lips. It's just such a pretty lipstick. I'm just kind of getting over all of their collabs at this point. It's just I feel like it's just way too much at this point. I know people love Glam Light and they're doing some awesome stuff, but they're just releasing way too much. I feel like they're kind of just becoming the next ColourPop right now because ColourPop has actually slowed down and Glam Light has just been releasing so much lately. Like they just did the Scream collection and then they did Friday the 13th and now they're coming out with Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's like three Halloween collections in one month, but I do really love Glam Light and the way that they're, you know, the collections have been really cool. I just think it's so overwhelming to the consumer, but people have seen, have been like eating it up, but like, I don't know why people don't realize that like Glam Light has become basically the next hip dot and also the next ColourPop because ColourPop was releasing a lot of collections and a lot of collaborations here uh, in like one month sometimes and people will get annoyed by it. And now it's like Glam Light's doing it and I haven't seen any comments from people that say, oh, this is so wasteful like people were saying about ColourPop. So, but ColourPop took notice and they slowed down. So Glam Light doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. The only time they did was like two years ago after they released the Christmas collections, they slowed down for like six months and then they came out with the Red Velvet Cupcake palette. And that was the last time they actually released like a food themed palette. And now it's like all collaboration. So yeah, rant over. I will see you guys tomorrow for the last look I think of this video. So bye. Okay, so hey there guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. So I did work to today. So I just got back home. Pretty tired. Um... It's not like it was really that, like, strenuous today, and I actually got some pretty good sleep last night. I passed out pretty quickly. 
Um, I'm just tired because I was a little busy and I didn't get to sit down until like 7.30. So I primed my eyes with the ColourPop, no, the Anastasia Eye Primer. And then I, of course, used my Amicole Lip Oil. And then I set my eyes with the uh, Dior Powder. And then for my eyeshadow today, I went into the Angelic Nyquist and Odin Dye Halloween Trick or Treat Palette again. And I did take one or two shades from the Hella palette as well. I just used one of the mattes in the crease. So I just used the shade Moss right here for my crease shade. And then I also used um, the shade Fluorescence on my inner corners. And th those are the only two shades that I used from this palette. But it's kind of nice to pull out this palette to combine with the Trick or Treat palette if I want like another matte or something. Um, they are really nice to com combine and I'm glad that I'm like using my Hello palette a little bit more. And then the rest of the shades were from this palette. I only used three shades from this palette. So I wanted to go into the darker shade Cauldron to deepen up the crease. And then for the outer corners, of course, I went into the shade Goblin to add a little bit more depth. And then for the lid, I really, really wanted to go into the shade Crypt Keeper because I haven't used that shade yet. It did create quite a bit of transfer on top, but I still think the look looks pretty at the end of the day. Like, it doesn't look messy, um, but there was quite a bit of flakes in my crease earlier from that shade, from the Crypt Keeper shade. So I tried to go over it a little bit with the matte shade again, but it's just not making it go away. So I tried to re-blend it a little bit, but the, the shade is so pretty and sparkly that it doesn't really matter. And then for my lower lash line, I just went into the shade Cauldron again and just smudged that. And that's everything that I used. So I just used one, two, three shades today. Oh, and I used Wicked on the brow bone, so I used four shades. Um, so now the only shade I have left to use is this shade called Magic Potion, and I'm going to use that tomorrow, so... I'm actually pretty happy that I already tested out all the shades. Like, usually it takes me way longer, but I was obviously going to wear this more because it's Halloween time. And then I used my Makeup by Mario uh, liner in black. I'm just tired, sorry. I'm like, uh, what the fuck did I use again? And then for my mascara, I just went into my Valentino mascara, and I just used my Essence Lash Primer. And then for the bottom lashes, of course, I just used my Maybelline Lash Discovery. And then I primed my uh, face with the uh, Do It Spray, and then I used my e.l.f. Hydra Grip Power Grip Primer. And then for my, oh my god, I'm so tired. For my foundation, I used my Glossier, uh, what the hell is this called again? I always forget the name. Stretch Fluid Foundation. This is in the lightest shade. I just wanted to use this again. I will haul this soon. It's just... I'm waiting for one more thing and then I can finally film a haul video because I have like five eyeshadow palettes that I need to share with you guys. And then for my concealer, I went into an oldie but a goodie. This looks so good underneath my eyes still. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 320 Porcelain. I hadn't used it in a little while, so I used it today. Um, and then I just set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath powder, and then I set my face with the Urban Decay powder again. My face looks a bit dewy, but I kind of like it. And then for my bronzer, I also went in with a bronzer that I haven't used in a little while. This light is bothering the crap out of me. I'm sorry. I tried, but it's just blinding me right now. Let's do that. That's a little bit better. And then for my bronzer, I used my Thrive bronzer in the shade Raya. I hadn't used it in a hot second. I don't even remember the last time I used this. And it just looks so pretty. I really like this bronzer. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to whip it out and use it today. And then for my blush, I don't think I've went into this blush since California. It's been a good, like, at least a couple months and I'm like I need to use this blush again so I finally went back into my Giorgio Armani uh, luminous silk glow blush and this one's in the shade 30 and I really really like um like this terracotta shade it's the shade apricot um and it's just a really pretty shade so I'm glad I went into that today I was like I need to use this at some point again because it's an expensive blush like I've used it a few times, but I'm like, I haven't used it in a hot second. 
And then for my um, highlighter, I went into my JD Glow highlighter in the shade Saks and Fifth. It's just such a pretty, like, yellowy, greenish shade, so it's perfect for this look. And then I set my face with my Milk Makeup Spray, and then I set my brows with my e.l.f. Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went into my Half Magic Beauty Lip Liner. Um, and I went into the darker shade. I just forgot which one it is. It's this shade here. So this one is called Hot Potato. And this shade was so perfectly matched to the lipstick that I wore today. And I finally went in to the other Odin's Eye and Angelic Nequa shade that I haven't worn yet. I've only worn the red one. I haven't worn this one yet. So I was like, I need to wear this <laughs> to work at least. Um, so this one is the shade, uh, the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Swamp Fog. This is such a beautiful color, and I swear they are so comfortable. They go on dry, but once they dry down, they are so comfortable throughout the whole day. They, they really do feel like a lip pillow or like a lip cloud. They're so nice. And this shade is just so pretty with this look, but I cannot believe how well the lip liner went with this liquid lipstick. So, yeah, I really, really like these. I think I'm going to be wearing these quite a lot over the past next week or so. Um, I'm not sure if this is the last look of the video or tomorrow. This one might be the last one. And my hair looks really nice and curly right now. I think this is the last look. Right? Or am I tripping? Well, if it is, I'll just record an intro later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so yes, this was the last look at the video. Um, so I only really used like three palettes this past week. I just wanted to concentrate on using my newer palettes. Um, tomorrow, I'm also going to use the Halloween palette just so I can use that last shade. And then after that, I'm just going to be using Halloween palettes all the way up until Halloween is over. Or use as many Halloween palettes as possible. So you'll see a little bit more variety next week. I just really wanted to get some more use out of the two ColourPop palettes that were newer to me. And the Halloween palette. And that was really it. Like I think I've been rotating a lot of palettes this year, this month. I've been doing really good about using most of my fall palettes that I just wanted to concentrate on using new palettes this week. So yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, at speedw 819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. And I would love when you guys watch these videos, please comment which look was your favorite. I think I'm going to finally try to say that in each video. Let me know what your favorite look was. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week, a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.